Congratulations. Welcome to the Turaco Creative Cast. This is Frank Salazar, aka Captain Goggles. This is a special Sunday stream, and we have a special guest today, Sideburns, and he's from the AAA Creators community, and you might see him in the chats once in a while. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and we already have a couple of people in the chat's watching. I don't know if anyone said anything yet, but people are watching, so that's cool. That's awesome. Uh, oh, someone just left. Anyways. Hey, <laughs> hey Ronnie out. is in the chat. How you doing? Crimson Owl Comics. And uh, <laughs> we've been uh, wanting to have uh, Cybrance for a while, but uh, just trying to find the right time. So this seems mm -hmm. to be the right time. Yeah, uh, I've been a regular um person in the chat <laughs> every now and then, you know. Just um in the Taraku um stream. Like I'd show up and like, you know, troll a troll <laughs> uh troll Frank every now and then once in a while. But yeah. Yeah. Um mm -hmm. uh, yeah, um I'm glad to be on. Yeah, finally. Cool. Really awesome. And, yeah. Uh, no technical well, hiccups. Promote your stuff there. We got your link tree there. So I'll tell people yeah. what they can find. So um what they can find um well i have i have some links up so i can show people work but um i have a comic up on webtoons called chad chihuahua oh, okay. and um, um i wonder if i can share wait can you I can share? screen share oh yeah i'm looking for the uh tab that i think chrome tab ah here we go so um okay so i, I see it approve it mm -hmm. Yep. So yeah, this is like um, uh, the I think one of my uh, recent comics in uh, like the first kind of ever, like web comic series in mm -hmm. a way. Um, it wasn't really pub like intended for the um, like to be a web comic at first, but um, I read really more formatted, and I think I was I think I did an alright job at that. Um, I can show you a bit of the page, like the first issue, if you like. Okay. Oh, wait. Um, how do I go back to the first page? I'll go back to the first. <laughs> All right. Uh, just a sec. All right. So um, uh, I did this around, say, 2019. Uh, I was... Um, uh, I guess I was bored. I was doing kind of a 100 Days of Comics challenge, and I okay. decided to pursue the project. I had first heard about it. Um, I knew I'd known about it for a while, I think. Um, but then I did I did the first time, but I didn't quite finish that comic I did before went on a hiatus. But we can talk more about that in the stream. But mm -hmm. I decided to pursue this, and um, but I actually finished this one. Um, it's, so the basic, like, premise is it's a, about a experimental chihuahua who's given these implanted cybernetics, and, uh, for anyone who's familiar with, like, PlayStation or, you know, old video games like that, um, the, uh, like, the premise of the story is Crash Bandicoot was a lab experiment by Neocortex, and he escapes, and it's a bit of that same kind of the same oh, okay. plot like that. And then so Chad Chad is like uh the main character in the story. He's um he's so sort of, he's sort of a hapless and aloof. He's kind of a just but he's also kind of a mute protagonist. You you mainly get you kind of get his personality through his like facial expressions and all that. He's also a he's like a dog and like I thought it'd be interesting to do a dog because it's probably going to make my character more likable at first. But uh, <laughs> yeah, this is like some of the we get to see of the villain character, and yeah, oh, wow. and this is and this is where like Chad ends up, like just on the beach of this um, tire, like all this it's sort of landfill full of tires, yeah. and, all, and that's how he gets his famous tire, pretty much. Oh, okay. There's a title, and uh, yeah, uh, I wanted to have that as um, 
I think it wasn't initially in his design, but I gave him uh, these springs that are like attached to his ears, and they'll make him look a little, they make him look a little funny, but also kind of like he's like hint that he's a like a cyborg almost. Okay, um, yeah. And this means he can take a lot of damage in certain ways. In like, <laughs> so you can see fit a lot of cartoony violence to be had. Yeah. Uh, Okay, cool. So very much like a video game, where you can video game take violence, a, yeah, take like, a few hits, like the in, like yeah, like early two like PlayStation three D platformers almost. Um, two D can count, but uh, like it takes inspiration from that, and also, um, I guess I wanted to keep it fairly simple as a um plot at first. Um, I like character development and all that sort of stuff, but I like to, um, I think I want to have, to f have fun with this. Um, this was so, and this is another introduction to the character. He is, uh, uh, this is the alien who is like, um, who tags along with Chad and his name is Zap and he's in, he, to him, for him. To him, he's like a um. Zap thinks he's like a higher being above all life forms in the mm -hmm. galaxy, like an alien. Like, like imagine Zim. He's like super powerful. He can take over the world, but he's actually in his in his corpo in his real form. He's just a xylophone. That's a funny thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's an odd. You know, they make for an odd couple, and uh, whoa, um. So oh, yeah, my layouts are a bit um, uh, interesting. They're not really inspired by manga at first. I kind of get into more of that later on, but uh, okay. This, I think, mm, I think you can tell my balloons. They're very um, vertical, not horizontal, and uh, you use a lot of um. It's a lot black and it is black and white, but I thought about yeah, yeah. color. I thought about adding color at one point, um, but I kind of, I, uh, not really invested in going back to Chad Chihuahua at this time. In fact, I thought about like releasing a, um, a thinking like, because this was originally for print, and in a few pages you'll see why. So, um, mm -hmm. he learns a few attacks thanks to Zap's like telekinesis. And uh, he's allowed to spin. He's able to spin his like tire. And this, so this is how I reformatted it. And it's gonna look maybe a bit strange at first. So the pages, this whole page would would have been like one, like a two page spread. And you'd follow it. You you'd zigzag around where wherever Chad was walking. And yeah, yeah, we go in. And then, and then it was like, oh, okay, cool, yeah, I like those, I like those panels. Uh huh. Yeah, they sort of cut into it. You can kind of tell when Chad is going into the next one. Um. Hey, Beanie. Nice. Hey. Yeah, yeah. I like, like, mm -hmm. you know, like a narrow pointing down. So you're like, okay, gonna go here. I go here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go here, and it's like. I like to oh, make man. think they make more sense as a like full page spread. Um, yeah, but um, have yeah. you ever um, uh, printed it out as a as a um, mesh can or? A oh yeah, I have comic? done that before. Yeah, I have done that before, and uh, um, I think it's the thing I need to pull out towards more the more of the bleed a bit more so that it'll connect the two spreads okay more easily uh so yeah they go through a bunch of punishment together like exploring exploring these island these bees are funny um they get on fire stung fall off mine carts all that good game stuff kind of it's kind of like a donkey kong 64 thing like when they go on the micro when they go on the minecraft like shafts swallowed oh, okay. by plants yeah, swallowed, yeah. um and then they get they level up they meet like they go they advance they advance 
uh, onto like the um, they find more mechanical enemies who are a bit tougher, and uh, I'll let, and then he unleashes Chad unleashes his ulti, so he um <laughs> has a special attack move. Um, oh okay. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. That's cool. Um, he uh, and uh, these things they're decked out in like um, or they have like armor and weapons, unlike organic counterparts. And uh, oh yeah, but also Chad, he's got a bit of a heart, so he's trying to. F- it's like he doesn't know why he's end up in this place, but he knows like. He's he misses someone, yeah. like thanks to his sense of smell. But like Zap, Zap on the other hand just wants to, um, go around the set of dominance everywhere. Has a higher higher being. He's he's kind of got the superiority complex about him. But like Chad's like, nah, let's go. Let's, oh, we want to find <laughs> something. He's he's kind of the heart of the duo, you know, um. Oh yeah, and this is yeah, right. Vigan. It's a bit of a bookend there for you, and uh, that's the first issue. And um, uh, then I kind of um, I go into later. Um, uh, I think I uploaded later issues, and I have. Um, I do have plans to make a full like volume, like a full trade graphic novel of it with um. Uh, like other indexes of things of concept art, including concept art, uh, questions and answers, like Q&A section mm-hmm. or letters or letters section. I think they call them in the trades, but uh, yeah. like, or like floppy, I meant. But, um, uh, but, um, yeah, that's kind of a lot of work. And so I kind of just procrastinated a while because, um, Clip Studio at the time was just okay. So, that's, that's what you like, use. yeah, I used I used um, I mean, I created most of the pages in Procreate. I just felt really, I just feel feel comfortable using that. Oh, do you mind if I um close this page or? Yeah, yeah, you can close it. Same. Oh yeah, that's fine. Um, right. EJB. We do have hey, a, you have a rabble rouser in the the chat. EJB. Says to be fair, the xylophone <laughs> instrumentation. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, so, so Zap was like inspired um, a bit by the jingle, the, the jingle theme from the Crash Bandicoot game, the first one. Like, I thought, I thought it'd be funny to have a character like that, and also be a bit like kind of be a silly counterpart, but also like um, I don't know. Chat, I think zap's like a foil or like Chad's a foil to zap in a way even though like he's um uh well chad is the main character so yeah. i don't know how that works but yeah <laughs> they're an unlikely duo is the thing but, uh, uh, they, they uh, keep each other in check yeah i guess so yeah um yeah so um it's it gets really cool it kind of you kind of go into like his place of origin um it's fairly if i were to make it longer i think it would um go over different areas of the island and meet new enemies and stuff okay um yeah yeah yeah. i probably wouldn't i don't know i'm not that i wasn't that like skilled at that point to um do it even now i kind of think about like like lungs like three parts Probably a best at three parts if I go a bit longer, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> even like have, uh... actually, yeah. Okay. So do you have plans to turn into like a, a trade or a graphic novel? Just yeah. Collect them. Yeah. Um, I have plans to publish it in Lulu dot com. Uh, but um, because they they also hand distribution of it, so you can like sell it on demand like worldwide apparently. And uh, I, I just haven't got around to it. There's a bunch of um, uh, I think all once, Kusu does this cool thing where you can um, I got the full version of it, so you, you can it allows you to view view your work in full like a full 
full 3D comic itself, um, which is okay. like a three a three D preview, and um, uh, the so it showed me like when I talked about the double page spread, right? It um yeah. it showed that the pages were way too smaller, like the, the both pages were way too small and they weren't lining up. So um, and I kind of did that for every page. So um, I kind of yeah. got a bit of work on the on that front. And uh, oh, okay, yeah, uh, uh, there's quite a there's quite a few challenges. I know the end result I want is like have it uh, like as a book can purchase on um, Lulu.com, but that's you know I, I think I got a plan like like look look at the steps I have to take to get to that point, you know. Um, but uh, <laughs> um, what was that else I was doing? Um, uh, I think, yeah. So I'm happy that I did actually finish that story. So that's that's another thing I'm proud about it. Uh -huh. it yeah, that's always Most... good when you when you finish a, a project. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a it's a good feeling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, um... Mm -hmm. uh oh before then i just um i did i used to like make gag strips on facebook they were kind of edgy this was um uh i wonder if i can share that let's see i will show you um so i used to have this like facebook page that i post art and like comics occasionally um let me add it there we yeah. go. So yeah, this was huh? this was my previous username. I changed it ever since then. Um, and this is like all the stuff I've done. Uh, this is the uh, so pencils for the Chad Chihuahua issue one. Okay. Mm -hmm. I used blue to that. Um, I found a more lighter blue pencil actually since recently. In fact, it, it was available at my own local art store. Um, Pilot Enos, have you used them? Pilot, they they come in like, uh, different colors, like. No, I've uh, I haven't used like like any professional ones. What I uh, I did use, I did find was I guess would be kind of like their um, a a knockoff version of it from mm -hmm. the, the dollar uh, a dollar store, and, and they're like I forget how much they were, but. Hmm. Uh, Oh yeah, they're pretty cheap actually. Yeah, um, <laughs> which was which is just me. it's just uh like it's just it's just like a, a pencil color mechanical pencil color that that's what I thought they were, and then yeah. like oh like they're supposed to be like the the stud liners. <laughs> the liners. liners. So there um, so there's a blue, a red, and uh, a few other colors. I think purple. So I bought a pack of that, and uh, and I, I have them scattered around here somewhere. Oh okay. No, I've used I've cool. used the blue one to to do some sketches. I was like, you know what? I keep seeing people using these. I'm gonna try them and look like I'm a professional. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I think they're pretty sweet. Like, cause you can once it once you have them down, you don't like you don't need to clean them up. Clean them up in a later scan, like in Photoshop, like that. That basically to avoid the cleanup job. <laughs> oh okay. You know later in like the production but uh yeah uh this was some early there's actually some early um chad concept art for oh, okay. um, using copics um oh cool i kind of want to test them out hmm yeah still, um... that's really good oh and uh this is some of the uh and once if i get around to it this is this will probably be some of the concept art you'll find in the book and um yeah and i used to play apex legends a lot um on ps4 um man back when like the yeah, first alpha dropped man that was amazing uh it's a mirage um i think this piece is, pre piece is pretty good uh so this basically yeah. this character he can create mirages of himself, like holograms okay. to trick his enemies. 
actually, I actually think this like effect to the background, like these characters, they're basically trying to shoot him, and he's like, he's like fooling, you know, leaving in the, in the dust. And Bangalore, <sighs> um, that was that was Mirage. This is Bangalore. She's um, I was like these. She's like a. Uh, she's just she's just former soldier, and she has like these batarang things. When you sl- when you like throw them, they attach and explode. But she also yeah. has smoke bombs. I've, that kind of reminded me of Batman, so I included this. Um, and also I made her eyes glow. Thought that was futuristic. Um, what else did I have? Uh, oh yeah, this is some of. I mostly just drawed a lot. I did the draw in your own style thing, but that was way too detailed, I think. And uh, Spider Man twenty ninety nine, my friend. Okay, yeah. Is my is a commission actually? Really? Uh, I did a version in Copics. I didn't really like that one that much. Um, uh, so that was my new avatar, and then I renamed my channel Sideburns. Um, does anyone know the story behind that? Also, this is Apex. This is another Apex character called, I think it was, uh, I think, uh, I, don't, I don't know his name. Um, uh, is it in the fan? No, it's not in the tags. Um, some may recognize it. Oh, that's, uh, Dick of Shadow, but, uh, yeah, there's a lot of art right now. But if I found the comics, I did a lot of Apex Legends fan. I'm really proud of that. Um, oh, this is from the failed comic I mentioned earlier. It's like the... Um, so my idea, right, was um, I wanted, like, Planet Earth to be this hard, like, hard-boiled noir, like, detective. Yeah, okay. And he wakes up yeah. from being shot in the head, but it's actually the meteor that hit him. And so he's trying to find... Who stole, who stole the moon? I guess, and um, I never, I never ended up finishing that. So um, yeah, it's still out on top of us, I think. Um, did a heads challenge. Hmm. Oh yeah, I nearly deleted. I think you don't really delete the page; you just unpublish it. But um, yeah. Um, I didn't post her after like 2019. The women one. Oh, this is a uh, She Simba. Yep, I remember She Simba. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. She Simba. Uh, that's mm-hmm. uh, uh, Marshall's. Uh, Absolutely, yeah. Challenge. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, I learned so. Yeah, I did 100 days of making comics, and I learned about Marsha's channel, and I followed his channel, like his updates on the challenge as well. That it was fun. Um, then his channel evolved and got more interesting, and then he had a Discord, and um, that led to me publishing a, well, getting into um, working on anthologies. Um, how do I stop? There we go. So, um, what was the first one I did? Uh, uh, I did a, let's see, holiday anthology. Yeah. Yeah, I think you did the holiday anthology first. Oh no, I didn't pulp before. That's right. Uh, oh, you did. Oh, yeah, that's right. You did. Yeah. Oh, sure. Let's see. Do I have manga? The pulp. Is that pulp? No. Just let me find it for a sec. Um. Uh, I got the. Uh, I should put that one in here. Pulp anthology. All right. Good. That's in there now, but uh, well, there are links in the description if you guys want to check out the nine volt anthologies, the pulp, mm-hmm. the holiday, and all the other one, current current ones that are out there. They're, they're, mm-hmm. It's all in there. Yep. So in my mm-hmm. comics fell here. I have a stack here, and they fell. Okay. Mm-hmm. I found the pulp. That's, what I'm looking for. <laughs> That's all right. Um. Which, uh, Let me see. Where was I? Ah, here. Yeah. Your story was. Um, it was the one with the ninjas. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. 
Oh yeah, I do. Check out Maverick and Indy there. Wolf Chambers. Wolf Chambers. Oh yeah, that cover was badass, man. Uh, I actually, I actually really pr- I'm proud of that. <laughs> just the whole thing. You just go over to the like, check the edge of the page, and it's just, um, then you you're in for a ride once you see that cover. Um, and uh. It's also in black and white too. Uh, based it off mm-hmm. a pulp cover as well. Um, like, man, wow, they were like only twenty five cents back then. Who knew? But um, <laughs> um, yeah, that was fun. Uh, I kind of did an Indiana Jones style story. It was uh, there was there's a strong like Milo Thatcher like influence from like the Atlantis movie, like. I think people could often mm-hmm. tell that, <laughs> and um, it was um, uh, it was a fun little. Um, I think it was only twelve pages or something. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I just got too go. close to the camera there. Mhm. Mm-hmm. I just had my microphones okay. Um, I'm trying to look for the holiday one, but I guess it's. Mhm. It's somewhere over there. Yeah, you weren't in the first one, right? You were in the second one. And, I was uh, in. I was in the superhero one. No, um, Marsh was in that one. I remember, but uh, mm-hmm. I, I, uh, and I decided to go for the pulp one, and then I did the um, the holiday. Uh, the holiday, absolutely. Uh, so all these right here. That was. That was up until then, like the longest amount of pages I did for an anthology, which is twenty four. Yeah, yeah. That <laughs> um, was like a, a that was a whole comic in itself, and then I've, I've set a new record since then, actually. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, uh, but uh, yeah, my my story for that was basically a um, uh, like a trio of of these elves. They were basically elf secret agents for working yeah. for Santa, and we did we do? And this was the idea. <laughs> um, it was like my own little spy movie. So, uh, like, yeah, there's this trio of elves, and they. I thought about like playing with a trio of characters with different per- personalities. Um, a bit of a bit like the um Kirk and. Like Kirk Spock and McCoy dynamic, McCoy? you know? Okay, yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh huh. Absolutely. Like I think Blossom on the right here. She she would be the, the more the McCoy, I think. And like this is uh ah oh, remember what her name Tulip. Tulip is um uh can you see my cursor by the way? She's uh, the middle one. Um, I'm not sure. Okay. But, uh, yeah. And left. So that was Tulip. She's the leader, and this left this is um, Gumdrop. She's more like um, logical, like a tac- like she's a tactician kind of, um, uh, you know. And uh, so, like, we kind of take the POV from like um, Blossom. She's um, it's kind of her first mission, so she's a bit naive. And um, okay. yeah, they have some conflicting like ideal ideals, you know. Um, and I don't know. I like to invent. I like to make up some gadgets. And this was like the whole idea is they're looking for this kid who's they look they they always look for like kids who are naughty and nice. Yeah. And they're tracking down the nice ones with this radar. And they try, and they have different ways of blending into the populace in order to like find the, in order to observe and record this for like their records back in the North Pole. Um, and uh, yeah, there's some dangers afoot once you, uh, this was, um, I think I inked this in. I penciled this first and then inked it in Procreate. Okay. Um, I think uh, I think it's all right. I prefer like traditional inks, mostly. 
And if I okay, get yeah. to, I use I use Procreate whenever I clean up these days. How's the chat going, by the way? Um, still got yeah. EGP. He's in the yeah. Discord. I've seen him around. Yeah, but, yeah, uh, and he he's been in the chats before, so I've seen him in a few places. Yeah. Oh man, I way like. I'm kind of remembering like how I tend to cram a lot into my earlier pages, but um, there's some cool <laughs> fight scenes in this one. Uh, yeah. Oh wow, that's a lot of pages. So I did the holiday one. What was the long one after that? Oh, yeah, I think the cosmic among... unknown. Cosmic unknown. That's right. Uh, and that's the one I don't have, but it, I did see your design of the Junkasaurus, and I thought that. Was... Like that oh was yeah, really cool, uh, cool design. And it's kind of different, like the cover version of it, like in terms of the legs and the um, like his like fist. But that was that was fine. I was happy to have people's interpretation of my character because both of them ended up anyway. Like two of the yeah. characters ended up on the cover. That was kind of cool. Um, but uh, let's see, Indie Vault. Um, that was just unexpected, really. <laughs> but um. What was I looking for? So um, that one, the indie, I have a Vindy Vault one as well. The um, have you heard about the Indie Vault Revolt? Um, yeah, I've I've heard of it. I I haven't gotten any, any other stuff, but yeah, uh, I yeah. Think, uh, I might have one. Russ in Leach. That, but it's, yeah, yeah. I might have okay, one. Okay, Eddie, that. I wasn't aware you you were in it. I know. Um, It'll probably just Sek be four pages. Seckler and and Vister were were Jake in it, but I know yeah. You Mm hmm yeah um so uh what was it oh yeah cosmic unknown i didn't okay is this the one yeah this is the one all right so um let me just quickly um uh just find that for you how are you enjoying the art so far guys or the stream <laughs> um what? it's good cosmic art unknown. i mean uh yeah um uh, oh yeah i had some i had seen the uh card you you had done i don't think uh they made cards that last time but you had gotten one ready so I oh yeah the, I did. the design for mm -hmm. that one yeah i know it's pretty cool um <laughs> yeah uh i'll uh this is for um it's kind of started out as a weird mad max tribute but then kind of goes oh, okay. into a small story about like a guy trying to get date this girl but she's um okay she's yeah. A, yeah like she's not impressed like she's not having any of it like at first like <laughs> guys like he has so basically it's a, it's a date that goes wrong and he's he um suffers uh a little because he works in a dumpster and but he's like a, this hobbyist invent like inventor guy and mm -hmm. um, he does this you can see in the top right i think i can zoom in i'm not sure let's see zoom in uh oh cool yeah so he he brought in the stray cat and fixed his arm so um and then like oh, okay yeah <laughs> and then like um then it then like she's outside and he meets this she meets this guy and he seems like trouble and then it yeah. gets really weird gets really cool as well from there on now and um yeah it's kind of my first story incorporating a mech and um uh it was a uh it was a bit hard to design at first a mech to um do mm -hmm. the like have uh uh what did i want at first i didn't want like i kind of want wanted just a straight up like mech but with like animal parts like you know um but i decided to make it like a design a, 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 a dinosaur and like it's fired by that um different influences on that um front but uh uh i learned a bit like you learn a bit as you do these things um mm -hmm. learn more about your software and all that um i still like using procreate i feel i feel it's like 
very intuitive like not there's not too much visual visual stimuli to overwhelm you like mm-hmm. all the menus and stuff but um you can still and it works on ipad and the apple pencil has no as far as i'm aware there's no like no law lag um, oh, okay cool oh. yeah. yeah i have a bit of reservations about like like using it fully for like things because i like the feel of that like traditional pencils and inks and mm-hmm. stuff um so it's sort of my post production box <laughs> in a sense but um uh that was my uh story for that and now um i've moved on oh before i get to the one i currently have finished i want to get to the oh i worked on a story for wildcat which was cbs um that's right project. cbs you're, uh, you're a part of a cb smallwoods wildcat anthology absolutely yes Which, and um I oh, forget when it's coming out because yeah, I know he changed it a couple of times. Let me just see. Oh yeah, he changed the deadline to September instead of like May. Um, which is fine. You get more people show up. Uh, let me see. Aha. So yeah, this is one of the pages. Um, let me add. I would. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, it's gonna be in black and white, obviously. For obvious reasons to save on cost, but yeah. Um, uh, so I've kind of wanted to, um, so my take is that like Wildcat is like roaming the world since he's resurrected, has no memory of who he is. He's he like stumbles upon these like strange events and so i'm i take him to a, like an elementary school in like midwest america i think mm-hmm. and uh he's comes across these two kids like he doesn't come across until later but he should he um these two kids are playing a card game similar to like Yu Gi Oh or magic the gathering and they have uh but there's this girl who feels rejected and um you know like told she can't play with them you know and uh She's a little bit uh, crazy. <laughs> She's kind of into occult magic and some sacrifice, sacrificing things, um, you know, as kids do. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, um, she she does a ritual and that makes the two of the card monsters um, come to life, which. Um, they actually have names. One, the big guy is called Xenos, mm-hmm. and the other is called Trap Beast. They'll both come alive and terrorize the whole school. And um, it's up to an unlikely um, hero to show up and save the day. And yeah, there is. Um, here's my rendition of him. This is my rendition from him for what I know about, like, uh, like CB's character. I wonder, also, um, has he been in chat? Do you guys know if he's there? EJB is in the chat. EJB is in the chat. Is there a good indie comic scene in Australia? Uh, there are cartoonists down here. Um, there are a lot of... Um, I don't know. I think it's different culturally down here. When we're, we're kind of, um, I guess we, I guess we publish more like humor magazines, and uh, I think we we also the ones that are available in news agent are typically like through stuff from through like the Phantom, and um, um, they always they always make new stories. They always like publish them in the like kind of an, as an anthology but they're sort of they, they use the same public domain character i don't know if it's public domain but um yeah he's um he's really popular but um there's not many comics there used to be a lot of marvel and dc on like in news agents but no there isn't which is mm. odd um uh i guess they're going the more digital route but uh 
um comic scene i think there is one uh come across a few facebook pages about that um i know there's a big zine culture now um i actually oh, did go cool. to a thing called the festival of the photocopier so i published yeah. zines before oh wow cool. and this one um i published little minis and i used to my favorite kind of zines are mini comics and uh so this one this one i did for the 100 days well not not 100 days oh you got one to show there what was that it's the uh the latest one that i've completed the mass women's field journal oh absolutely yeah the, mm-hmm. the one i did so this one you guys should check it, that out <laughs> it's uh the not a prequel it takes place like a few months before mass women meets uh, Captain mm-hmm. Goggles, it's a little story there. I'm going to continue this one. This one, I made it look like it's a field journal, so it has extra pages mm-hmm. that you can like, take notes in the back if you want. Mm-hmm. So I have, I have a, been... a couple of micros in there, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. I love it. Um, mechanical dinosaurs, what more, what more could you ask for? Um, the, uh... So I have a bit of history with mini comics and, and, and zines. When I learned about them in art school, I kind of just was hooked. Um, oh, okay, cool. I was going to ask how, how you learned about them. Uh, how I learned yeah, about them. School. Yeah, I learned... Uh, I'm not sure how I learned about them, but they sort of showed up one day and uh, while I was studying. I was trying to finish art school, and I was starting to hate it. But I finished yeah. it anyway, and I got the degree. So I can't complain. But uh, this is one of the first ones I did like for... After I finished, I wanted to explore a more narrative-focused work. Um, okay. And uh, this was basically an autobiography. But I'm sort of like this... Uh, um, like this donkey character, like from a Midsummer Night's Dream. Um, yeah, they're fairly early crude drawings I did. Um, it's one of the pages... Me putting up the artwork. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm actually not sure. Some of it's a bit unclear because it's so tiny. But um. Uh. Suspicious. Um. Yeah, that was a more early foray into cartooning. I've always kind of, like, been interested in comics in the back of my mind because. Earlier in like, primary school, I used to read Tintin, because. Okay. Um. I used to read it a lot. In fact, it got called a nickname and nickname by my like peers, you know, in primary school, in my classmates. Um, <laughs> peers is a strong word, but um, uh, yeah. Later on, so after art school, I made another one, and I've sent this over. I think I've sent this to Dave. Uh, Dave. Um, Dave Pingley. Pingley, yes, he has a copy. Um, it's a bit I'm, dark. I'm not sure. Bit. I might have that one. And, yeah, you uh, might have it. Oh, yeah, you have this one, I think. Mm-hmm. No, I think Anna might actually have that one. No, I think you have. I think I saw... Wait. Oh, I think Dave actually has this one, actually. This is a funny story, actually. I sold this at a uh, a convention called the Festival of the Photocopier. It okay. was it was a actually a zine festival. And... Um, People really liked it. It's just um, a collection of short stories, mainly. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. It's all a bit random. And, uh, yeah. I ended up doing paintings of some of these characters. Which, um, cool. it's really yeah. weird. And I have and the, I, uh, the raccoon one. The raccoon one. Oh, yeah, raccoon eyes. Yeah, uh, it's a superhero one. I uh, actually don't have it with me at the moment. But, um... I have a video on it, how I create it as an ash can. You guys can check oh, that out. Cool. It's also on my YouTube. But uh, um, oh, the funny story out. with this one. Funny story with this one. Uh, it was published around what 2013. Uh, I got it, so I had it for a while, and uh, I, I I like I sold it at the uh, festival of the photocopier in 2004, 2014, which is like a Melbourne zine fair. Where people okay. can set up, 
uh people that's can pretty sit cool. up. I wish we had something like that here. We might we might do. I know we have an art walk, but it's a bit like artist alley, pretty much okay. like you have a table set up and you know Okay, yeah. Hey, Gabriel, we, we have something like that. We have the art walk and, and, and the sonic mm -hmm. stuff up, like artist mm -hmm. alley. So yeah, they set it up in like a town hall and um yeah, big open space. And funny thing is they have this thing called like the Golden Staple okay. Award. And oh, that cool. was like I actually got a reward for the which um which is it was a huge surprise to me i'm not sure if i can reverse that maybe i can but uh wait can you see it i think yeah that's crazy oh, wow. they that's cool. um yeah i oh, reversed nice. that Oh, yeah. I'm getting emotional right yeah. now. Just think about it. No. I, I picked up a book on Amazon uh, not that long ago. Uh, so I was just looking up. I was like, I wonder if there's anything about mini comics. And there's a a few zine books. And I picked up this one. And it's called uh, Whatcha Mean? What's a Zine? So it's kind of like explaining the zine culture. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. it's by Mark Todd and Esther Pearl Watson. That's actually some pretty cool. Mm -hmm information and those give you examples of different uh ways you can make zines different uh formats mm -hmm. yeah so, um do you still do those eight page minis or do they do you use them for like thumbnails i think i think i heard you said something about them using the thumbnails. i i i i do them both like i i like these uh Let's see, I have another one. Yeah, yeah like this is like an, an eight page uh, mini, but I start them off as like, is that I'm going to do thumbnails, but I don't decide that I want. And and then I'll just go over it. I'll, like I'll take a picture, I'll put it on the computer and I'll mm -hmm. go over it in the, the, the standard comic book page size. Then I'll shrink that down mm. and format it uh, in the eight page uh, style, style, so I, I print it out. Uh, so I I'll have the uh, I'll have them as a mini layout like this, mm -hmm. and I'll have the full pages on on my computer. So mm -hmm. when I when I start to actually publish those, uh, put those in a collection or something, I mm -hmm. I have the pages. So mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, um. I just found the um, page for the the manga I worked on. Well, this was the manga for the Nine Fault Mythology. Um, okay. I'll share it for you. I'll just define the. Um... Okay, cool. And that is the what's on the thumbnail. So you guys are interested in that. Yeah, that's um. So this is my manga called um, Duckling Star. It's about this um. The premise basically is about this um security guard working on a space station. Except it's also this, oh, um, <laughs> it's this, it's also a, uh, water park. It's a, so it's yeah. kind of a cool tourist attraction. It's part sci-fi, but like, you know, um, if you can load the page, but, uh, also, um, I used a lot of oh, cool. mostly, well, all of, all of the grays are done with half tones. Yeah, and um, I'm hoping cool. it'll print out well. I did a good. I actually did a test print out. Um, see how it would translate. But uh, and I'm do mainly... you like lower the opacity on those or? Yeah, yeah. Some of them I do. Like um, there are parts like on her design on uh, the main character's design, which um, this okay. is this, this is a protagonist. Her name's Debbie Hart. And uh, so she has, so yeah, a parts of these. So what I did was I grayed in areas. I put in the gray areas I wanted and I would color. No, wait, I would alpha lock it so that nothing else would, not the whole page wouldn't end up with this weird, like, you kind of have it show, if you don't have alpha lock on, you will like get little dots everywhere all over your page instead of like the focused the bits you want focused um, yeah yeah um in, in, I've, had, in I've had that happen where i'm filling in a spot and it's around yeah. like, some characters it'll it'll leave the outline 
mm-hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, they should have that on. But um, or or just like transparency, lock whatever. Yeah. But uh, the oh yeah, I did a test of that. See how it would look, and it seems to be working just fine. Like um. I have other pages that I've printed off too. There are more, um, some more variation. And I did do, so yeah, I do lighten bits of opacity once I've done that. So, um, wait, how do I show most of this? And I wanted to have like half tones to treat the gradients. Um, <laughs> but um, I, I realized that it may not look that good on screen. As when I when I see it, oh yeah, and um, I'm gonna put a warning up. <laughs> oh no! Come on. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, this is uh, you, you can kind of notice like the technique here. Um, uh, depending on if you have a physical or like digital copy it might change how you view okay. it um how it changes like the ben bende dots or like in in like traditional traditionally in manga you use like a delete a pay page and just peel yeah. back peel back uh like a almost like a sticker of like yeah. the half that you wanted and then put it on the page and once you put it on the page you like cut out bits that you don't need or you yeah, you scrape, could cut around it. Or, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. But now, but I've done this whole thing as I've like explained before in like Procreate, and uh, <laughs> um, and I think I think it's had mostly a good, um, mostly all right effect. Um, <laughs> uh. I guess for some reason computers like don't know how to handle like really complex like patterns like that, but um, mm. I think I think it'll look okay from what I, what test I've done. Um, how's the chat going? What do you think of this, guys? Um, but yeah, this is the prologue to the story actually. So it has twelve pages, mm-hmm. and um, Debbie's trying to apprehend this pervert like dude. Um, but he goes invisible, so it's a bit hard for him, you know, like a bit hard for him to be like apprehended. Oh, yeah. um, uh, but she uses like it's kind of a world building thing where I show like what the park is capable of doing. I've thought about so there's other stories, how setting other stories in this universe, like later on. Hey, Brina, yeah. where are you doing this? What are you doing? Okay. My cat's just at my feet, but, um, um, yeah. So this ended up being like more than the like planned. Um, well, the minimum requirement was four pages, which, but on the face of it actually doesn't seem more like a manga to me, like four pages, like the manga standard. But what I ended up doing was really taking advantage of the, uh if you heard of decompressed storytelling and compressed storytelling oh, okay yeah. normal normal standard american comics have compressed storytelling standard where they um try to block in a lot and have a lot of dialogue compared to most compared to manga which allows um a bit more nuance to show through and like the expressions and um almost have a cinematic feel to it. Um, this is something Tezuka picked up on in, like, when he saw Walt Disney, like, used to see Walt Disney animation. Um, oh, I really like um, when I introduced this character. He's, um, he looks yeah. kind of, he looks kind of sus, not going to lie, but um, he's sort of, a, he's been around parts, and uh, he's got a scar, that's kind of scary, don't you think? Um, and Debbie's just here, like, oh, he's he just like, who's this guy? Has he heard about our famous curly fries? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> and um, 
yeah, it gets. Eh, I hope it gets interesting if you guys want to check it out. Like, um, well, I think it's interesting. I wrote the thing. Uh, I wrote into it. Yeah. When and will that is, one be coming out? The the manga. I'm not I sure, know. but the deadline has been. The deadline is until the 30th, July, I think. Okay. 30th, 31, I think. Um, and all I need to do now is um, I've submitted the story. I've submitted all my pages basically, and um, it's gonna make it it's gonna make the anthology into a chunky boy. But um, the all I need to do now is give like my avatar, my like little profile, and uh one or two sentences like tagline just at the end like uh this whole thing with um an index and sorts but uh what else are we got um yeah i think yeah yeah i didn't know this would end up turning into like 50 pages oh wow but, um, yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's basically how it turned out then the minimum was like four yeah the minimum um, was four and they, yeah I, they, they don't put um restrictions mm -hmm. on how many pages after that uh yeah that's so. true um they might start enforcing that now rule now thanks to me um, for, uh, like for a, next, a, a, for a page analogy. maximum a page maximum uh <laughs> yeah i don't know um um you're you're putting out like a lot of pages like um well, I'm just uh, have you mm -hmm. just, get, well, just get them get them done like by yourself, and that way you yeah, actually dude. make mangas. <laughs> yeah, mangas often have like singular authors for their stuff. Um, you'll you'll get sometimes you'll get like works that we use background artists and yeah, um, yeah. Assistants. you'll have assistants like that and editors that that definitely is, especially for things that like are weekly, you know. Um, but uh yeah i did this one on myself um i think what was the hardest part for me um it's not the not the editing of the pages because they were like um and i just spotted mistakes but i think um this is actually kind of i think duck and star was based off another i actually did the story before and i was playing there was a mini comic but it kind of it was a bit more under under underdeveloped i think and mm -hmm. uh yeah and i'm thinking about doing another story set in this um universe with uh, debbie yeah debbie um debbie exploring like working working at uh duck stars the uh fictional water park and meeting new characters and uh but i kind of want to step away because like step away from sci-fi for a bit because it's hard to like keep inventing when yeah. i say inventing i meant like you know creating gadgets and stuff like that for the world um you know i'm i'm interested in other genres too okay. um but yeah. yeah, like you from what I've seen, like you've done like different genres. I think you've you've done you mm -hmm. did the holiday uh holiday uh, one uh, CIA uh, elf one you did like, Yeah, the uh, secret agents uh elf secret agents who um I don't know if that's it's more of like an action a typical kind of action like I can imagine those being superheroes actually in that story. Because um, if it's if it's the standard, you know, twenty four page, like, um, restriction and the yeah, it's uh, a floppy in itself, like just a single issue comic in itself. So. It also would be good in black in like color too, because I actually had like I had color ideas and I gave the um I gave I had like a this color this um sheet with the colors of each of the characters and I gave it to Shell and she worked on the cover. With that i put those ideas in mind and um yeah it would probably make good like um as a color comic as well there are quite a few but um i also think the wildcat one too it's just it's so hard like 
I'd rather do that in my spare time. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I do put out a lot of pages. I mean, if I have, um, well, sometimes it just turns out that way. Other times, um, like that, that results in a consistent work schedule for me. Yeah. And now I'm just in that phase where I want to chill out and just, you know, zone out oh, yeah. and get look at, look at the Is whole there, picture. Yeah. We already hit our, our mark, but we can go on for a few minutes longer. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. I guess the, um, Is, with all that, there... Jimmy, uh... yeah, I was just going to ask, well, um, you mentioned was... your, your, your channel name. Like, so how mm -hmm. did you come up, come up with Cybers? Well, Cybers, um, uh, so, um, as if anyone is anyone in familiar with the uh film Spider Man into, into the Spider Verse, mm -hmm. there was this um, because you know, there's a lot of artists on Twitter, we we kind of all the people, all these artists kind of did this hashtag, participated in it called but like we they each made a Spire Sona based off of yeah. themselves or like their OC or whatever. Um, I kind of did mine based off an old logo, Bane Flame, but uh, I I ended up really liking it and decided to make this, make it my YouTube channel. Like, it was always kind of an art channel in a sense, but um, mm -hmm. it sort of had this theme of like, it had this Spider Man theme for for a while. It had like that '60s Spider Man aesthetic for a time, and then um. Hmm. And then eh, it just became a regular thing for me. Like um my regular icon as we know today. Um uh and uh I'm I'm I guess I'm evolving my visual my visual style as I go for the channel and uh uh I wanna cover I probably wanna do other things on that channel as well. Um, not just streams, even though you can find my streams, um, you can find me at least streaming once a week. And, um, if you're subscribed and hit the bell, you'll, you'll know, always know when. <laughs> oh. mm -hmm. uh, have you done other stuff besides comics or are you interested in doing other things? Uh, I oh, know you, you've, you've, you've mm -hmm. done illustrations. Mm -hmm. I've done you... illustrations for, yeah. Um, well, uh, for a while I was um, studying graphic design. I ended up studying for three years instead of two, like for an advanced diploma because I did part time because I was looking for employment at the time, and yeah, it was pretty hard. I guess I had, I suppose, I guess I did have more time on my hands up until that point. But uh, yeah, I ended up finishing the whole thing in two thousand nineteen, or yeah, the beginning of two thousand nineteen. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I guess oh, I had another comic I had in the uh, actually published another one in the oh, okay. newsletter for um the like the I guess the community college as you call them back then. Um, I mean yeah. when I when I went to them. Um, if I can, I'll probably look for it. Just give me a moment, if you don't mind. I'll be sure, right back. No Say hi, chat for me. <laughs> uh, do I have anyone in the chats? I see Gabriel Mesa, EJB, and Ronnie Gunter was here earlier. Hey, guys. How how you been? What are you guys up to? Yeah, all right. Yeah. And, uh, Okay, here it is. Um, right. I actually like the color of this. <laughs> you can probably tell I like the color of this. Um, so this was my. This is the student newsletter for the CIT um, campus, and it's made by graphic design students. Actually, oh, um, cool. Um, we had another person write a comic series as well. Um, I guess my oh, name. Wow. Of, yeah, uh, that was neat. Um, uh, also, yeah, I have a, I have a submission here actually, and it was about the cafe. Um, it was actually about the cafe I was, 
visiting. Um, it's not that good, but I have um, I uh, I was happy to like turn up in that light issue and all that. But um, yeah, that's more comics related. I'm thinking uh, so other interests. I I play games sometimes. So like yeah, I know uh, you stream your your I games. I stream sometimes. those games every week. Yeah, just nothing nothing like really popular, you know, because they're. Popular games seem to be more like Fortnite and other battle royale games that are sort of always. They have a lot of eyes on them, so they have a lot of streamers playing them, you know, in yeah, matches yeah. and stuff. And I, eh, I kind of want to focus more on niche stuff, more like um, Forgotten Gems, stuff like that. Um, the series called Postal, I played, which developed, was developed by Running with Scissors. It's like a um, sort of like. Uh, um, it's an open sandbox game. And it's very satirical, but um, and that was fun. There was like three ish, three um, three sequels, I think, to that game. The second one is my favorite, but I haven't played the first. Mm-hmm. So I want to get onto that one. Um, and that's entirely a different game in itself, but uh, it's another story. Um. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, what was this first one? I I played a bit of the Resident Evil Four. Um, okay, yeah. I think, I think I might do that for the next one. Just get back into it. I know I'm stuck on a certain part, so um, it's like, uh, oh man, the last game I had had certain like you know <laughs> challenging uh parts to it. You know, um, like I think it was. Yeah, I think CB has showed up in a few of those too, with some funny oh, commentary. Yeah. I have some funny like chatters in the chat, especially also Jake is my mod in most of those. Um, even my art streams, I I mentioned I like credit him as a mod in them, and uh, like, uh he's fun to hang out with. Um, yeah, we talk comics, we talk uh, games, and. Uh, I, I bought, I built a new PC, so I'm. I was talking to him about it and how, um, uh, how how that went, and um, yeah, I enjoy work, like building PCs. I got that. I got that because of a new job recently, which I worked some shitty jobs in my time, like, mm-hmm. and uh, like just hospitality in general, you know, like working back kitchens and stuff and he said this one is a bit better now it's more full-time because all i did was like casual work before then and now it's um it's a bit freeing up for me because i can try out things not have to worry about um income and stuff like that also people yeah. are nice gotta mention that i'll say hi to you guys if you're watching but yeah <laughs> um <laughs> i probably never will but who knows um fine with me but yeah um yeah i'm still working still working on comics although i'm taking a break from uh i'm just coming off the back end of one and so i can't wait to i can't yeah i can't wait to um show you that once it's uh published by nine volt comics um i'm waiting on peter just to uh Tell me when the um, when that's out, and when it is, I'll let you guys know. Okay, that's separate from the anthology. Uh, no, nine volt. Oh, the manga one, the newest one that's going to come. Oh, out. okay. Yeah, yeah the, the the manga. So the deadline. So, so yeah, the deadline the, for that is um the thirtieth. July thirtieth, thirty first. Right? July thirtieth, I think. Yeah, and or thirty first. I don't know, but uh. Are yeah. they do they have more of a cover now? I know last time they were working on, on sketches. I think we do have one. We have like a an idea, like a solid idea, but uh uh I will just uh, wait and see what's like how it turns out. Um the you know, we just we just we'll just all have to bundle it to you know together and uh all the all the things left. And then um yeah, and then I'll just uh, I thought about um, developing a website for like all, maybe a blog type website, 
almost mm -hmm. tell you guys more in depth of how things are going. Yeah. I did that. Okay. Uh huh. Um. As um, I kind of had a Patreon where I would do that before. I don't have one now because I've it. It's un, it's un, it's unlaunched because it was it had no activity on it. No, uh, I'm, oh, okay. I don't have, you don't have to shill it for me if, you, if that's okay. Um, yeah. Um, I don't have a coffee either, but uh, thinking about it, you know, options are open. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, coffee is. Uh, I have I have a coffee. I need to upload more on the actual gallery on there. But uh, the way I do it is, just, you know, hey, you guys want to support? Uh, I'll send you out some some digital uh, comics. Mm -hmm. uh, but what I started doing uh, now, the uh, I'll pu I've put some of those on my Gumroad, and some are free, and and some I put I put up a price on them. Mm -hmm. I think most are like a buck, but the ones where I do. I uh, charge a little bit more as the Captain Goggles and Mask mm -hmm. Woman mm -hmm. ones because uh, those are uh, mm -hmm. I do like I I do them but I uh, like it's like the design some of the designs of Mask Woman and mm -hmm. and yeah. some of the stories is from Anna so like hey you want I credit her so like mm -hmm. yeah if, we, uh -huh. if I sell anything you get a part of it so oh. so I monetize those how's the <laughs> feedback been for the uh stuff you've given away versus the stuff you've been charging like the you know that um the one the uh zine or the mini comic you did about the john john that that song but it was also oh like john comic. john denver the uh, yeah how the people like uh, that do they um i thought that was pretty good yeah yeah some people like that doesn't like that one you really have to like listen to the song Mm -hmm. To kind of get the like wh uh, while mm -hmm. it's going on, while you're, so to kind of get yeah. it like it's not meant to be anything mm -hmm. serious, uh, yeah, just because the song kind of like it's about preserving trees, and the mm -hmm. comic is about these tree people when they get cut down. It is, it does kind of preserve trees because the the guy only cuts down like like one one of the tree, one or two of the tree people, not mm -hmm. the other one, so it's like. I'm still conserving. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, that one's got uh, uh, some mixed mixed results, but that like that one, that one I give out for free. Yeah, people like was... there's there's people that like it. There's people that are like well, I don't know. So it's not something mm -hmm. I, I'll give to younger viewers. Oh no, I'll yeah. To I'll mm -hmm. give to uh, more adult viewers. Then, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the like um, I like the paper crafts you did. That was pretty cool. Um, the uh, I have one more here somewhere. Oh, what was I about to say? <laughs> yeah, song lyrics are um interesting in terms of copyright because I don't know how much you can like get away with mentioning, like even mentioning them, in, like in your stories, like if a song, if a like yeah, maybe it was a tune, and and Is then that, that one, yeah, that one, uh, that's why I just decided to just give that one away. Uh, mm -hmm. Since it's it's not a yeah, it relatively old song. It's still mm -hmm. like it still has copyright. <laughs> so like you know yeah. what? Um, mm -hmm. I just put John lyrics by John Denver and story right. uh, art by yeah. Frank Salazar. I wonder I if just... you're allowed to put up the bars that like like the um a different of the different musical notes. I wonder if that's allowed. <laughs> it's like, oh, hey, no. hey, I can play that. I'm gonna sue you. I just ones. put I just put random ones that, that they don't really manage yeah that'll uh, that'll confuse them I'm like wait a sec <laughs> <laughs> ding 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 um, yeah, but I can't, the the way it's implied is that he's listening to it in his high tech futuristic CD player or a I guess oh mm -hmm. yeah so so he like he puts it on it's like this box he has there and he presses mm -hmm. and then the it's a fan of tree and just I have a question about Captain Goggles. Um, does he have any superpowers, or is he just, is he kind of like good at fighting? Yeah, Captain Goggles is more skills. Uh, mm -hmm. So I do have that that uh, the goggles are like high tech mm -hmm. goggles, so they do different things. And I might have mm -hmm. switched out where you have 
upgrades or he'll have different goggles. Uh, mm -hmm. Part of the story that I'm setting up uh, now is that uh, something's going on with the goggles, so he needs to uh, to get checked out and get an upgrade. So they're on their way to meet up with the scientist, which he has never met, but mm -hmm. the scientist is an inventor also, so he provides gear oh, for okay. the agency that, that they work for. And mm -hmm. this is the first time they uh, him and mask woman have actually uh, uh, worked together. Is like they just get teamed up. Mm -hmm. uh, so she knows the the scientist because uh, it's it it's like a surrogate relative of, of hers. So it's someone that raised her. Oh, okay. uh, mm -hmm. but uh, it's gonna be that stuff that's we're gonna tell in in the next uh, story. So mm -hmm. uh, so they're gonna go see see that uh, scientist, and so he'll be the one who provides tech. So that's why there's a a. Uh, Robot dinosaurs. There's the Tankiosaurus, mm -hmm. and there's the uh, uh, T-Rexosaurus, and so mm -hmm. that that that's kind of like a uh, for like not guardian, but like his T will turn into saws, so he'll mm -hmm. like cut down trees if he needs to, and oh. he'll wreck wreck stuff down. So more from like demolition type of thing. So it's it's a big mm -hmm. tool, but the Ankylosaurus, a Tankiosaurus. It's a vehicle that mask woman rides in, and but they're also mm -hmm. sentient, so they have like a little light AI, so they're like so they move mm -hmm. around like dinosaurs. Okay, uh, so they have like cloned bodies, but with cybernetics, like they're cloned from amber or something. Like the no, they're just, they're just like uh, they're they're built. Uh, ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. like, I guess kind of like like Power Rangers is a big influence, so just the mm -hmm. way that, that the Zords are like. Mm -hmm. They're robots, but they they do yes. kind of like have a little mm. bit of a sentience. So mm. I used uh, to play with Voltron as a kid. I like the um, yeah, I like assembling the robot. It was all really awesome. Uh, Gabriel Mesa, like his Captain Goggles, like Batman, he just kicks butt. Yeah, it's just mm. gadgets, techs, and skills fighting. Uh, right now, I haven't had him do a lot of fight scenes. There's one that I was working on that I did want to uh, have it for the uh, the manga, uh, but uh, that fell through for that. But I'm still gonna continue because it, it does continue the story that I'm doing already. So I'm still doing that. Uh, but they're 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 gonna fight a uh, a, a a real bug, but it. It becomes this huge bug, and they have to fight it. So, so mm -hmm. there's gonna be a couple of uh, panels and scenes right. where That's they, they cool. fight that, and then they move on to mm -hmm. to like, okay, now we gotta go meet the scientists. But that's where I'm gonna be telling a little bit more mm -hmm. of the backstory and like, well, this yeah. this happened, mm -hmm. and this this, and we need to do this, and mm -hmm. uh, these these things are going on. So I'm gonna explain a little bit more of the world in mm -hmm. that one. So. So I think that yeah. one I might I might do it more than eight pages because there's just more to tell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you kind of got like mini comics down to a science almost, like like you got it, <laughs> like you're really skilled, I think. Oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah. I, yeah, and after that, I I do want to put them all together, and so I have like a one big issue. Mm -hmm. Uh, so so you can just get it all at once and. And then I'm mm -hmm. gonna work on the bigger story where, uh, you know, talking more about where Mask Woman, uh, her part of her life, and and the, just yeah. some some stuff going on with the agency. There's like uh -huh. stuff going on in the background, so like so kind of telling like a bigger story in that. And mm -hmm. so like I'm excited. Like I want to finish this so I can get to that's that. That's awesome. I'm, yeah. I'm part of that. I really like that that story. That that's the, that with. sounds great. That you're excited about it. That's cool. I'm 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 excited about where I want to go, but I still like uh some parts. I, I understand I have to perhaps take a break from some parts of it, like the um like for Duckling Star. Mm -hmm. I have to uh you know take a mini break, but still yeah, still try to stay productive on my channel. You know, I like to um I like to stream yeah. in the meantime and uh. Uh, 
hopefully um i'd like to work on maybe a website i'd like to may i think i'd just like to think of the main purpose behind it probably um because you can have like you can have uh your projects host your projects there on and have an email list stuff like mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. which is um I, I i kind of have a gum road which does something like that but um i don't post many products um oh okay I posted an old comic there, like a, a PDF, but I think I find it kind of cringe right now. Um, yeah, that's where I have I did, um, uh, most of my, well, not most, but I have some, some PDFs there. That's where I have the uh, Captain, the the three that I have, the first two issues, and this one, uh, mm -hmm. so it's just the story that doesn't have all this extra stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, Mask Women's Field Journal, and that's where mm -hmm. I have, I put the other crap, crafts there and some bookmarks there so i just combined the first one i did and, and hmm. these new yeah ones. so, so uh -huh. you get it you get it all yeah uh, i did um i did some like uh i sent some files to a printer like i did kaplan for a trial okay. uh, like but they ended up being expensive because well they're for all florida and um over in australia not quite as close enough i guess <laughs> So the shipping's like what like through the roof. Um so I went on comics on demand for publishing the uh Chad uh floppies and um, Okay. Yeah, Chad Chihuahua and um Um Yeah, they're okay as floppies. They have like an introductory page um with all the links, social media and stuff like that. Um a little bit different form yeah, you'll obviously see a different format for that. Um I may I may send you a copy if you want, but um, sure, yeah, yeah, you know. Do you like, do you have any? The, I I know we were doing the mini comics exchange for a while, so I know the first yeah. Captain Goggles uh, was in there, but I don't know. I actually I got your plant live from the stars. Oh, okay, comic. that was cool. That was another horror, horror comics. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I yeah. ended up for some reason I like. If I want, if I do hours, I want to do it with plants, because there's mm -hmm. just something about plants being alive, but mm -hmm. they don't really like you. don't see them moving around, so like, mm -hmm. what if they did? So like, I I like Little Shop of Hours, so that one's based off that. And uh, if you yeah, if you speed it up, it's were, like um, like if you speed up plants, are like stop motion, kind of yeah. movement. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So, and and the uh, the other one with uh, for tomorrow. That's the one that the, the John Denver song. So I thought it would just be funny of like, oh, this song about preserving trees, and then you, you kill trees. Yeah, uh, it's a horror so, for the plants, not the yeah, like, yeah, the <laughs> yeah, warm blood creatures of the earth. Now, yeah. <laughs> so like... if I do one more, it might be a follow up to that because I kind of want to give the plants, the tree Sweet. people, a a happy ending. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so I'll just have a plant trilogy, and then I'll just leave it there. <laughs> it's really chlorophyll curdling tail yeah. you got there. Mm -hmm. But yeah, well, yeah, that's uh, oh yeah, right now that's all I've kind of got planned for the time being. Cool, all right. mm -hmm. And I also um, I post so yeah, I posted about my um submission to Nine Volt for on Instagram so find it i think you'll find a bit cool. about that there so yeah all right i guess we mm -hmm. can start wrapping up so you mentioned yeah, your no instagram problem. yeah so it's um yeah it's in the link tree you'll find it there mm -hmm. much i need to wear that glove more mm -hmm. Yeah, I oh, just I bought uh, a four pack because i have another one and i had another one before that and i keep like I'll put them in my pocket, or I'll go somewhere, and then I'll, I'll forget mm -hmm. them. And like mm -hmm. I'm just gonna buy a pack. So I bought, I just bought a four pack. So I just yeah. here in my. So if I lose one, I got a spare one. Uh, that's all good. <laughs> well, um, I'm kind of getting hungry, but it's been yeah. a great, it's been a pleasure talking to you, Frank. All right, uh, bye guys. Thanks for uh, coming. You can find all my stuff there in the link tree for Truckle Creative Cash. You can find Anna stuff too. Check her stuff out. She just hit 102 subscribers, so not tomorrow, 
uh, uh, maybe Rob. next Monday we're gonna. I think we're gonna do the bug cast, and tomorrow we have Marshall Lee. Uh, oh wow, in. that's nice, man. Very yes, cool. so that's why I, I mentioned cool. Marshall Lee in the Ask Admin because I was dropping hints. <laughs> yeah, because I'm like surprise, oh. Marshall's yeah. gonna be on. Uh -huh. and then you know Very what? Then you know what happened? But <laughs> very good. Oh yeah, well okay. Um, All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's about it. Thank, right. thank you, Frank. No Thanks for having me on. All right. Bye, guys. Cheers.